What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP. We are headed to Hot Springs, Arkansas. We are picking up the 1959 Seahorse Vixen fiberglass boat. We are going to uh, pick it up. It's been kind of neglected. It hasn't seen water in probably five to six to eight years. Um, we're going to get the thing running. We're going to clean it up and we're going to give it the attention it deserves because that thing is a beauty. It's beautiful. It's historic. It's something you don't see all the time and that thing just doesn't deserve to just sit there and waste away. So um, we're going to get it. We're going to pick it up. We're going to try to salvage the motor that's on it because I know it's a good motor. It just it needs carb work and it needs um, an impeller because the water pump wasn't squirt. But um, that's the plan to get it back together. If that motor, if we can't get parts to that motor, we're going to put a, a 40 horsepower. 40. A 40 horsepower Mercury on it. So y'all uh, y'all stay tuned to the channel. Um, subscribe. Follow me. Um, I'll be posting pics on my personal Instagram. Not my dance Instagram. My personal Instagram. My Facebook. And I'll be throwing together some videos of the progression of this restoration project. Um, excuse the, the exhaust noise. I mean, it's a good noise to listen to. I like it. But, um, probably should have mic'd up for this, but you know what? I'll catch back up to y'all in a little bit. It's, a uh, it's two in the morning. Two in the morning is the best time to leave DFW, especially when you have to drive across it. Yeah, I'm in Fort Worth, West Fort Worth, as a matter of fact. And, um, yeah, it's time to... Time to head towards Arkansas, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. So here she is folks, we got to Hot Springs, Arkansas and there's the 1959 with the, with the 35 horsepower Johnson on the back. We're going to yank this out, check the tires, um, and then take this thing and try to get her back in uh, running condition again so that's that and we will we'll get back with y'all whenever we get this thing yanked out of here
gonna be able to get through. To do. I don't think there's lost on the boat. I think they're all the Yeah. Fires. Yep. Probably need to push it in about a foot or two and then take it off. We're trying to get this thing out of this yard. Um, truck's out there. Well guys, well guys, well guys, we got her all loaded up. The tires are holding air. The trailer lights ain't working, but uh, well, we got one little trailer light that's a little dim. But that's just part of it. So now it's time to hit the road back to Texas and then get this thing all nice and cleaned up and 
bathed and then work on that engine and see what we got right here. Well guys, it's the next day. We finally got back to Fort Worth. You know what I found out the other day? I found out this boat was manufactured here in Fort Worth. But yep, we got it back and now we gotta pressure wash her and we're about to pull off the carburetor and then put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. And then we'll probably hook up a jumper cable, a jump box to it and try to Try to get her to spin over. With a super seahorse, so 35 horsepower Johnson. We pulled the cover off, and uh, that might be the issue. <laughs> but we're about to give her a little blowjob and try to see about getting this thing to. Check Get some the, gas. Check out this flap that y'all. It's the... This thing was manufactured here in Fort Worth. She'll clean up. One day. Tomorrow. You gotta deep, Gone forever. You gotta deep fry your carburetors. Uh oh. We needed that. Did something fall in there? <laughs> One of the bolts fell out. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching today's episode of the Restoration Project on the 1959 Vixen Glass Magic. Glass Magic Vixen is what I meant to say. Um. Y'all be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button because we're going to be posting plenty, 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 plenty of episodes of us working on this boat, getting it back into prime. We're not going to say nice. We're not going to say perfect. But we're going to get it to reliable, safe, and wild. Safe and wild. That's what we're going for. Safe and wild recreation out on the lake so so y'all stay tuned uh watch for more content coming soon so y'all know what to do peace